Wilmington, Vermont has so much to offer, from eclectic shops and artisan galleries to amazing recreational escapes. But there's another hidden gem in downtown Wilmington that's been a fixture in our community since 1902. Historic Memorial Hall is an amazing live performance venue that sits proudly in the historic district of downtown Wilmington. Throughout the year, you can enjoy an exciting lineup of concerts and live theater performances at Memorial Hall. The summer kicks off with the Green Mountain Singer Songwriter Series, featuring regional and local musicians. You can also enjoy electrifying performances by bands like Duppy Conquerors, tribute to Bob Marley, Deadgrass celebrating the music of the Grateful Dead, as well as the smooth jazz and blues vocals of Samira Evans and the Southern Vermont Deerfield Valley Jazz Concert Series. In addition to live music, Memorial Hall is also a popular destination for live theater, with recent performances like Charlotte's Web by TheaterWorks, as well as many other youth performances put on by the Wings Community Program. The architecture here mimics that of a mini symphony hall, and you'll find the acoustics to be extraordinary and ample room to dance. of many is that Memorial Hall will become the first interactive venue in the state. The addition of high-def cameras enables them to stream shows online, and you can also catch much of the concert series right here on Vermont Television Network. We're airing locally in Vermont on Duncan Cable and Burlington Telecom and streaming on Roku. Memorial Hall recently received a major upgrade to their lighting system with help from Dale Doucette and Joe Levy in partnership with the nonprofit group Friends of Historic Memorial Hall and Elation Light. With Dale's professional background in lighting and set design, Memorial Hall now has a state-of-the-art lighting system that you just have to experience for yourself. For a full listing of upcoming events and to purchase tickets, visit historicmemorialhall.com. There's plenty more to come on the Visitor's Guide to Southern Vermont next.